So is everybody amazing? What an amazing weekend. I, I mean, it has just been such an education and such a pleasure to be hanging out with all of you all weekend. I mean, I have learned so much. What is the sort of the one trick, the hack, the secret that really empowers people to success? And I think at the end of the day, it's leverage. It's leverage getting leverage over whatever it is you want to do, because leverage helps you do more with less. Whatever, whatever you do, leverage magnifies your results. Income property, the most historically proven asset class in the entire world. I've been saying that for a long time. So this article is interesting because it's the longest study I could ever find on property appreciation and it was published back in 1996. And it tracks appreciation of real estate from 1926, before the Great Depression, way up to 1992. Yet oddly, the title of the article says, Dow Industrials, the Dow Jones, have been a wise investment decision. Let's take a look at this little graph here. So, the small cap stocks returned 12.5% over this period. Real estate returned 11% in terms of appreciation rate over this very long period, the longest study I could ever find on appreciation. The Dow Jones returned 11 or 10%, and then you have treasury bills and you know, inflation and so forth, okay? That's not important, but here's the thing that's really important. Rarely do people ever buy real estate without leverage. Now, what do I mean by leverage? Of course, I mean financing most of it, where you get a partner called a bank, where you put maybe 20% down on the property, and they pay for the other 80%. So that means you have a five to one leverage ratio. When you take advantage of leverage, you take that 11% return, that seems kind of modest. It even underperformed small cap stocks, only did 1% better than the Dow Jones. And you multiply times five. And you now have, just very simply, a 55% return on investment because you have a five to one leverage ratio. Commandment number five, thou shalt not gamble. Now, we're in Las Vegas, right? But when it comes to real estate investing, you know, nothing special should have to happen for you to make a very nice return on your investment. We don't believe in speculation. We believe that the property must make sense the day you buy it or you don't buy it. What do I mean by making sense? Simple, cash flow. It has to cash flow from day one. Nothing special called appreciation, should have to occur for you to make a nice return on your investment. Okay, and the typical metric we look for here, just so you know how you're doing, is at least 10 to 12% what's called cash on cash return. Thou shalt diversify, number six. Now, there's two great quotes on diversification. One is, don't put all your eggs in one basket. You've probably heard that one before, right? Don't put all your eggs in one basket. The other one is by a man named Andrew Carnegie. And he said, put all your eggs in one basket and watch that basket. I don't really agree with either of these. I take kind of a middle ground. I say, outside of your business, of course your amazing business is one huge basket that is creating income and wealth for you and you want to take some of that income and invest it and make it work as powerfully as possible with leverage. And so I say take the most historically proven asset class, but diversify geographically. Because there's an old saying in real estate that all real estate is local. All real estate is local. I say it on my podcast all the time. It's an amazing time to be alive.